Hello there, this is Daniele from Toolchefs and in this video we're going to have a look at the new Variation Builder improvements. So as you know, in the previous versions of the Variation Builder you either have to create uh, your own variations by defining render layers in Maya and takes in Udini and then use uh, um, the Variation Builder for exporting these render layers into a JSON file and so on. Um, now basically we have created a new tool that will let you um, create those uh, render layers because for instance you might have to create like 100 or 200 and so on and maybe it's, uh, it could be it could be very tedious you know to um, make the, all of them by hand so as you can see here in my scene I have um, a bunch of geometry um, then we have uh, you know like so accessories we have clothes dresses uh, um, then also we have some body geometry some hair um, like that uh, and also we have uh, a lot of uh, shaders, materials, um, so if I open now the upper shade you see I have a lot of materials here so it's very important how your materials are named so basically here what I've done is I've created a lot of materials that will cover a lot of uh, um, basically we'll, ma we'll make sure that uh, um, I have basically have several materials for uh, my trousers, my sweater, my t-shirt and so on so basically then I can uh, reuse them um, in each variation so I can pick just one so this is just of course for adding more um, um, different differentiation between uh, between variations um, so as you can see I have boots brown, boots blue and so on, boots red, blah 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 and the same thing for the skin, for the hair uh, for each uh, also all the other pieces of cloth um, uh, okay, so this basically, so I've also it's important to know that I've, I've followed the anemic convention, and you should do the same whenever you build these materials and your geometry. So as you can see here, I have, for instance, for uh, this material here, it's named Woman um, Shojim Violet underscore M A T, um, while the geometry is called uh, if I can find the Shojim underscore Geo. So as you can see here, we have the 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 shoe gym part is uh, the same in both the material and the geometry. I have a prefix that is also valid for all the the other materials that I have here. Uh, you might or not have this; it doesn't really matter. Then I have a part which is basically you know telling me which color is is this material, and then an underscore mat. You don't really have need to have all this part. Uh, it's just that if you want to have like uh, if you if you need to have a lot of variation, um, you need to make sure that uh, um, you know you have you have materials uh, that have uh, you know like uh, fo um, that they are following a naming convention. So uh, okay, so let's open now the variation builder and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here when you open it, you see now we have two tabs up here. The export one is the same, uh, uh, basically it's showing you the UI as it was before and you still use this one for exporting your variation into the JSON file. And then we have this variation tab here. So with this one, uh, what, what what's happening here is that you can create variation types. Um, variation type is like just a definition for, um, for a variation. Uh, and of course you might want to use the same type for, for creating a um, more than one variation for that type. In fact, in fact, here I have a, a number ten. So I'm gonna say for each variation type, build ten variations out of that uh, type. Uh, this is, this number max attempt number is um, basically the, the algorithm. The, the the building process is gonna run, and of course sometimes it will uh, build variations that are the same as some variations that were built already uh, for the same type. And in that case, it will uh, just uh, skip that attempt if. Uh, um, if the uh, if the variation is something that uh, it was already built previously, and uh, it will try three times to create a new variation. So, for instance, if you have uh, if you don't have enough uh, shaders for building ten variations, maybe you have just uh, uh, you know like you have a set of shaders that uh, will let you build just eight variations or seven variations for a variation type. Then you will end up just having seven. Um, uh, because of course uh, the, the tool won't let you have uh, uh, variations with uh, basically that they look, who look which look the same. Then here we have the material prefix, which uh, in my in my case is gonna be that woman underscore. This is basically uh, um, a replacement. So whenever the the building process is gonna run, uh, it's gonna pick each number of geo that is belonging to a um, to a variation type, 
and uh, replace the this basically this value which can be really whatever you want so for me is underscore geo with this one and uh, here as you can see there's a star just because uh, uh, we basically Maya will, will use this wildcard later for finding all the materials that uh, basically that ends with underscore mat but you know have anything here so this is basically the, my black my red my violet that I was showing you before and here instead uh, we have uh, like another uh, set of replacements so you can uh, um, you know provide uh, you know like um, a value here saying uh, replace uh, for a name this value with uh, with this other value this uh, this is a uh, super useful because uh, let's open again the upper shade so for instance here in my scene I have uh, two uh, shirts so I have the shirt and the sleeveless shirt I also have my um, what is it? I have a suit open and suit closed. And if I go in here, so let's see, woman suit. Let's look for woman. So this one, you see, it's called woman suit black. It's not called woman suit open or woman suit closed. And this is because basically this material here is used, is used by both the, the open and the closed version. So in here, you should have uh, uh, basically for, for, the, for the alias, you should say for the suit close, let's use, uh, you should replace it with suit whenever, this is basically whenever it's searching for a material, it's gonna replace whatever is, gone, is going to be left with after this, this main replacement here, with all these uh, other aliases that you're gonna provide. So here we should have, so for finding the, the right materials, which is, um, woman underscore suit underscore red let's say underscore mat um, it will have we it will replace it will have to replace the suit closed part with the suit with suit and the same thing is gonna be for a suit open uh, suit like that and so on and the same thing applies for the shirt but I mean yeah like we should have we should go uh, through each all of these uh, cases and uh, and populate this UI, but not gonna do it right now. Just this is just for showing you how the, the UI works. Up here, instead, we have uh, buttons for, and these are mainly for uh, uh, changing the content of these three here. So if you click this button, it's gonna create a new variation type. Double click, you can uh, you know provide a name. So let's say variation uh, one, something like that. Then uh, you can select geometry in the UI or uh, drag and drop in it on the variation. So let's say I'm gonna take my body, middle click button, drag in here, or you could, uh, uh, let's say, let's take the suit, clothes, uh, the trousers, uh, the sleeves, the shirt, uh, and the shoes, and you can compress this button and it's gonna um, add them. You can also uh, change the order, and this is important, we're gonna see later, because these, these meshes are gonna be processed in order, so if you have constraints later, uh, material constraints uh, which you create with this button uh, it's important to have them in the order because if one uh, mesh is driving uh, um, the constraint the material constraint for another mesh it's important that the the driver is uh, processed before the driven geo the driven uh, uh, material and, and geometry then with this button here you create uh, extra groups so these ones for instance is if you want to have props for your variations uh, or hair and so on and in this case we, for all variations we know already that uh, we want to have hairs uh, let's, uh, that. and uh, for each, each uh, extra uh, group you can extra geo group you can uh, also specify a weight so for instance uh, the non item is uh, um, basically for this group you might want not always to have uh, uh, one of the geometries that are in the group uh, and uh, but so basically this is what none does so whenever it's gonna pick one of these meshes for this group it's gonna um, pick one basically of these and if it picks none it will just not add anything to, to the variation uh, in this case I'm going just to um, set none because I want always to have a hair for my, for my woman uh, what we're gonna do, uh, you can also add uh, groups for uh, um, the uh, for the geom for the variation types like this. Uh, in this case, you can uh, sorry, you can uh, for instance create new ones, say prop props like that, and of course you can uh, uh, you know like 
say I want my hat, I want glasses, blah blah and so on. Or you can even create a, uh, one which has the same name as the uh, as the parent. Uh, sorry, as the as one of the root uh, level uh, extra geos, uh, and this is because if you want to override uh, this extra group for this specific variation, this is how you do it. You basically um, you basically create one with the same name, and then you just change the the, the meshes in here. Um, so again, uh, just to tell you how the building process works, basically, so we're gonna pick one of the all of the geos that are in here in the in the variation type, then we're going to uh, create extra ge uh, geo groups if you want them um, and then basically for each geometry so first in the, the in the main variation type it will assign a material both using the standard um, um, basically lookup um, lookup search which we just which uh, we just discussed earlier or is going to use the material constraints and then uh, if uh, uh, once once the all the materials are picked and so on, it's gonna start going through the extra geos that are valid for this variation type. So first, it's gonna pick all the um, all the you know top level extra geos because these are gonna be valid for all the variation types that you have in in your list. Um, then it's gonna go process all of these. Basically, first it's gonna collect them all. So in this case, it's gonna first uh, gonna find hairs. And then it's going to uh, replace that extra geo for this variation type with this internal extra geo group. So it's going to say, I oh, know I want this extra geo group, which is has with just the air 3 geo. And then it's going to also find props. So uh, for uh, the extra geo groups, it's going to just pick one uh, of the elements that are inside the, the group. So in this case, it will always pick air 3 geo. And then it's going to pick one of these three. So it's going to be or uh, no item or a glasses or the Benny hat. Uh, with the weights, of course, you can say, "Oh, I want more glasses," or maybe I just I prefer to have uh, my characters with um, less props and so on. Uh, so you can do that. And finally, we have material constraints. And uh, sorry, of course, you can select stuff. So, for instance, if you don't want the glasses anymore, you can just select it and press minus. You can also make a multiple selection and press minus, and I'm gonna delete all the, all the selected stuff. So, and then you can create material constraints. This, uh, these are just uh, um, uh, valid for, uh, um, uh, sorry, they, ju they just work at the root level. So for these ones, what you have to do here is basically you provide a source material. So how it's working is, uh, so it's gonna process all the geometries, it's gonna assign a material. So in this case, let's say I want the suit to affect whatever uh, color of the trouser is gonna be picked later. Because of course, if you have like, in you know, a formal dressing, you want maybe the the, ja the top the top jacket to be the same color as the trousers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the upper shade again, and we're going to look for a suit. Uh, where is it? So here I have a suit uh, um, material. I'm gonna drag and drop with the middle mouse button here, <coughs> and because as you can see, it's there now. Or you can even you know double click and. Uh, you know, type the name, but of course, uh, dragging and dropping is better. And then you can <coughs> say, so this is gonna be the trousers. So where is it, the woman? These are the trousers, like that. Uh, and then we're going to middle mouse, sorry, left mouse button with uh, inside the UI, you can drag and drop an element here. So what we're doing here is we're saying whenever um, whenever you're, you're picking the woman suit blue material, drive the, the material that's gonna be picked for the trouser geometry. And as you can see also here, as, you, as I was saying before, the suit are, is processed before the, the trousers. And the use also assign, always assign this material. So of course this doesn't make much sense because here we have a, a blue uh, material and here we have a black material and we want them to be the same. So you could, uh, you know, type like that, so black, black, for all the combinations, but it's gonna be super tedious. So if you know that an element is always going to be driven by, um, the, 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 the material for one element is always gonna drive the material for another element, always do it uh, uh, with a star. So let's say uh, black, that. So basically it, what this will do is uh, will uh, it will, uh, 
pick uh, so match whatever is uh, in um, matching basically this star so in, it could be black could be blue and so on and it's gonna replace it in whatever here uh, basically here so it's gonna for so forever wo woman suit black mat whenever that material is gonna be picked uh, woman trouser black mat is gonna be assigned and same thing for blue and uh, all the other colors as well so this also you can uh, rename you know material constraints so you can name this like suit to trousers uh, something like that so it makes more sense when you collapse them and so on um, and so this is how basically you define your uh, um, your material constraints then uh, you also have these buttons here uh, so this for, for instance when you are happy with one uh, of your uh, um, settings here so all your tree and so on you can always save these settings and this will also save uh, all, all of the co all the values that you have here and you can also reopen them and reapply them here so for instance now i'm gonna click um, on the load variations button uh, just because i have um, uh, one that I've already previously created, so I'm gonna click open, and as you can see here, these uh, these settings have been already uh, pre-populated with some values that I used earlier. So as you can see here, I have hairs, uh, like uh, different kind of uh, variation types. Uh, I have a smart clothes jacket one, which is uh, a suit clothes, sleeves, a shirt, trousers, shoes, body, and I have the same thing, but here I have the the skirt instead of the trousers, and so on. So it's a uh, um, yeah, basically this is how you manage to get, uh, you know, like you can, how you can build all your variation types. Here I have a bunch of, uh, um, a bunch of material constraints. For instance, whenever I'm picking these, uh, um, these uh, um, skin material, I always want to get the black hair. And once you're happy with all your settings and so on, you can just click the create variations button. This will create all the variations for you. And if now I open the render setup dialog, you will see that uh, we have created all the variations. And this is all for this video. Thanks for watching.